So many of you are always saying, Carrie, can you make it easy? Now I can talk at a high level, I can talk at a mid level, but what I'm good at is making things simple. So today we are going to talk about bulk create part two, and I'm going to make it easy for anyone to build graphics for social media in minutes. The three things we're going to use are, and this is again, is we're going to use Canva. We're going to use Google Sheets and ChatGPT. So let's get right to it. Okay, so before we get into creating graphics in minutes, here's what I thought I would do. I am going to show you my company page, my com company Instagram page, where I created a slideshow using Bulk Create. So I used Canva, I used Google Sheets, and I used ChatGPT. All right, so we're gonna. So this is this is Carrie Joe Little. This is me at, on on social media. So we're gonna hop over to Caremark Realty Group. So if you when you look at this, you get to see all of the layouts. But here here are two. Now the first one, this one, I pre created, but I used ChatGPT to build out what I was gonna say in my content. Now this one was my favorite. So I literally used ChatGPT. Uh, to create 10 tips for saving for a down payment. And ChatGPT created all of it. Now, did I do a little bit of work? Yes, but it took less than 10 minutes because ChatGPT gave me the content. So there you go. Content, look, there's number two. Notice the number two. You can make it better. Number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You could even take it a step further and create another slide for a call to action. So if you're not using this, I highly recommend that you take advantage of ChatGPT. So let's get started. All right. So what are the three things we need? We need ChatGPT. We need Canva. And we also need Google Sheets. So now that we have those open, I've actually taken the liberty of asking ChatGPT. I had, I had a few options. So I, you know, old school, I could have asked ChatGPT to come up with ideas for social media, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to come up with the ideas. 10 tips a seller would want to know uh, years in advance before selling. Five ways to invest in real estate. 10 things you should do after moving into your home. 10 reasons, uh, to buy versus rent. So we're going to go with that one. And so you'll see that I already created it. And I did originally ask for 10 and then ChatGPT stopped. I, I do know there's some things going on with ChatGPT. There are a lot of us using it. I might want to go back to 3.5, but that's okay. Then I also realized that a few of these were kind of similar. And then I also realized that when it stopped at 10, I thought for, uh, for number 10 ad, when you pay rent, you invest in someone else's future then update the tables. It didn't do it. So we're just going to, we simply copy these. Oh, let me say this. I also said, um, then also add a number column because I thought that would be easier when you're using bulk create. So in the future, whenever you do this, you might want to say 10 reasons to buy a home versus renting a home, build the 10 reasons or tip into a table view with a number column and provide a, descri a description for a social media post. So we've got our reasons to buy versus uh, rent, and then we've got a description. So then what you would do is you'd copy this, right click to copy or control C, command C. Then we hop over to Google Sheets. So we're in Google Sheets. So I've already pasted it. And if you want to add a few more, and I do, so I would add number nine. And then I might just say, invest in your future. We'll make it up. And then I might say, when you rent, you are investing in someone else's mortgage or future because the house could be paid off or the property could be paid off or the rental community could be paid off. You see 200, 300 units, somebody's the investor, someone owns all of those properties. And if you could think of anything else, you might even, you know, 
you could, I mean, you could add another one, a house hack, house hack, uh, reasons to own. When you own a home after a few years, talk to your loan officer, turn that property into a, an investment property. You could say as a rental unit, it could be an Airbnb, whatever your loan um, allows. And now that you have the list, this is what you're going to do. So we named it rent versus buy. Then you hit file and then we're going to download it as comma separated value. That's simple. We're done. Then we hop back over to Canva and you can choose to create a, you know, just a simple slideshow on Instagram. You could create story post, you could create the story post and also use them for reels. You could even take all 10 and then maybe every three days, if you're on TikTok, it's recommended that you post every day. You could, I mean, every day or a few times a day, you could literally post one tip with some music, maybe another tip. You don't have to put them all in the same TikTok or reel or YouTube short. So let's actually do that. Let's go with the reel. So our story created design. Now you could use the real version, the real R E E L, or you could use the story version. Either one works. If you use the real version, um, it's almost like a video. So we'll just, we'll just go with the story version because then you can use it in multiple places. The next thing you need to do in the top left-hand corner is just maybe type in real estate tips or tips. And so there we go. We got all these options. And you know, I need to put, now we got to put the glasses on. So scroll through. There's one. It's, it's actually a story. And you, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking I like this. I actually like the video in the background. So the next thing we do is we select it. And we've got a video in the background. So now it's this simple. The next thing you do is you need to edit the the graphic, you edit the text, move things to where you want them. So here's what we're going to do. So we had in our Google sheet reasons to buy a home. So I'll go back to Canva and we'll do this. How about number? Let's do this. Reasons to own. And it's, it's large, so I'm going to shrink it. Reasons to own versus rent. And and of course you can, you know, build this however you like. And if I don't like the size, this is like 62. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll make this one 62. So they're kind of the same. They don't have to be exact. Then we're going to go find, we're going to add another box for our number. So then we'll, I'll just use, you know, you can get creative, you know, it's up to you. I'm just going to go with a regular heading. We'll move this up. And then we're going to call this uh, number. I'm going to actually put in the number. And let's see, what does 100 give me? Mm. Let's go with 150. And we're going to go with it. That's what we're doing, I think. The next thing you do is once you decide what you like, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Right, Reasons to rent versus own. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this book now. So I'm actually building this out. I, I like the layout. I don't like all caps. So notice when I click, I can make this, you know, lowercase. I don't even think I like the font. I like fonts to pretty much be consistent. So even with the first one, I'm going to make this one the, I think it's uh, Glacial. We're going to make these all the same. I like consistency. Then it doesn't look odd. And oh, this we'll do this. We'll move this up and this is going to be, remember, go back, going back to Google Sheets, reasons to buy, and then it's going to be building equity. So we know that this is going to be our reasons to buy. And then we're going to have our reason or description. Once you've kind of built this out and you know, this is, this is going to bug me because I just think I could make this better reasons to own versus rent. I need to make this larger. You know, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. So reasons to buy, and I'll make this a little bit larger. I'm going to get rid of this bolt. Well, uh, 
I might make these caps. I'm, I might go with that. Then I, I'll change this to no caps. You can always fix it later. You'll get it in a moment. The next thing I'm going to do is we are going to add the company logo. Let's add the company logo. In Illinois, the, I comply with license law. So we'll add the company logo. Oh, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think, I think, I think. I can put this wherever I want. And I'm thinking after doing that, we're going with this one. Oh, always back, you know, up here, you know, but just undo. Yeah, I think this might just be better. And here's the next step. Wait for it. If you like it and it's great, you think it looks the way you, you intended it. The next thing you do is you go over to the left and you look for the option that says apps. Once you choose the option for apps, you need to add under more from Canva, bulk create. You also got translate now, kind of cool. Bulk create. Once you add this, it's now listed on the left. Then you're going to upload the comma separated value. Now you can enter the, the data manually. There's reasons to always do it because you can also copy, cut, and paste. We're just going to upload our comma separated value sheet, spreadsheet, Google sheet. There it is. And once you've added them, notice we have three data fields. So now what you're going to do next is you're going to choose, you know, we're going to go over to number and you can right click. And then you're going to connect the data to number one. Then you're going to go over to reasons to buy, right click, connect the data, and you're going to use reasons to buy. Then you're going to choose reasons and notice now I'm moving it down. We're going to right click, connect the data, left click, description, and I'm done. Now we're going to wave a magic wand. You ready? You ready? Click continue bottom left hand corner. Here is our entire list. Choose generate 10 pages. Wow. So this is where you might make some edits. Like this, this would drive me crazy. And I could have fixed it ahead of time. I could even go back and rerun this, re-pull it. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm, I'll just simply go through every one of these and kind of shrink it. Or adjust both the left and the right size so it looks a little more centered. A lot of times when you're not a graphic designer you don't realize it doesn't look awesome until someone says, I can tell you why you're not getting, you know, engagement. And, you know, I might move it so I can see that line in the middle. This is cleaner than this. And some of you might just say, oh, I didn't know. Doesn't this look more like a picture frame? Like the whole thing is framed out. So clearly I'm really fixing things. Looks clean. There's my number five. I think you kind of get it. I'm going through the entire process because some of you might need to see that this might be what you need to do. Okay, so the way I'm going to use these is I can, um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them as individual stories or individual reels. So now you might say, well, Carrie, what if I don't want that video in the background? Okay, you don't need to have that video in the background. So go over to the left, click elements and put in, let's see, videos. I might need to scroll down to videos and I might need to put, let's put in, how about living room? There are some videos. Are you, are you getting this? So let's drag this. Let's, let's, I like, you know. Why not? Now maybe we'll put in bedroom. You do not have to keep using the same video. Wait, I think I was at five. 
I like bright colors, so I'm I'm really specific. I don't want to use people. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. Now I might want to put in, how about backyard? What does this one do? A lot of people, a lot of people going on. I, and if this doesn't look like I think I'd fix it. So I, there was one I thought I liked. I think it was this one. Think about what, what you would want to show or showcase. Um, how about home office? Oh, I like that pool. I like bright. So, you know, again, this could take you a minute. Yeah, I think I like that one. We're at eight. Looking good. Oh, that one's a kitchen. Let's go with kitchen. And then I think I'm going to try to find something that's like, you know, you know, some people might like a wine cellar, wine cellar, or maybe someone, you know, like a, how about a beverage home bar? Is, is that a thing? How about a um, theater room. Did we get one? Maybe not. Maybe not. Is this maybe? Okay, there we go. I'm, 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 I'm so excited. You got this. How easy was that? And all we did was use Canva. We used ChatGPT. And then we also use Google Sheets. You can do this. Creating that content has to be easy. If you love this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you also love this video, go back and check out part one of Bulk Create. And if you just really need the basics, check out this video on ChatGPT.